All right, welcome back to Deep Dive into Design Space. This is section six. We're gonna be going over the upload feature. So when uploading images, you can either upload them as an image or as a pattern fill. Um, pattern fill is pretty much not very useful. So I would say almost never use pattern fill, but I will have a video discussing pattern fill in the future. Images though are super, super useful. So we're gonna drag and drop a file. We're gonna do the Harper logo. If you guys have watched Cricut 102, you'll have already seen this logo being used when we make our Harper mug. So you can select an image type. So simple is gonna provide high contrast colors and transportation or a monochrome background, complex, you know, good contrast and that, or moderately complex, good contrast and complex is gonna be very, very detailed. Now, if you're doing a logo, it shouldn't matter, and you should probably just do simple, but it, say you're printing out what you're going to make, like a sticker, always do complex. But in this situation, we're going to do simple. We're going to click continue. Now, the select and erase feature is super awesome, and it, these advanced options are even more awesome. So in this, we have the reduce colors function. So we can reduce colors to just two colors. So we're gonna have two colors. Since we wanna remove the background, now there will only be two colors in order to remove. So we can select the background and now the color of the background is completely gone, right? And this is super cool, um, but unmodified, right? Now they're, you may not see it, but there are actually maybe, you know, 300 different colors in this picture. And if we select it, you, you probably can't see it, but there's just this little white outline, right? That happens. And we don't really want that. You can see it better. Now there's all this shading and stuff after we reduce it to two colors. And it's really hard to get rid of that. If you leave it in its unmodified form. So I would say always reduce colors to two and then set your color tolerance. So what the color tolerance does is it says how many different shades do you want me to move color wise and delete those colors. So normally you're going to want that to be around 16, but if you only have two colors total, then well, just remove the one color, right? You only need, there's only two colors and you want to remove one. So your color tolerance can be one. Um, you can always reduce colors uh, to a certain amount. Say you have three colors in your image, then definitely reduce it to the amount you need. All right, so unmodified, we're gonna do two and then we're gonna do that. Next, eraser. This is an eraser. If you've used Microsoft Paint or really any program ever, you've probably used an erase function. You can just erase the part you don't like. Now we only have the bottom of the Harper logo. And finally, the crop function. You can just crop the part you want. All right, so now we have that. We're going to click continue. Now you can either save as a print and then cut, which will, you'll print an image and then the Cricut will cut it out for you. Um, that's not really great in most cases because if you're working with vinyl or anything like that, you're going to want to do save as a cut image. Always create a good name as well as a tag for your image. So we're gonna do Harper logo half, and then we're going to save it with the Harper tag. And then once you click save, you're all done, and you can simply use your image whenever you want by clicking insert images. You can also select multiple images by clicking shift and selecting the images you would like to insert. Just insert them and you're all done. Thank you guys for watching episode five of Deep Dive into Design Space. And I hope that you guys will stick around and go into episode six. Thank you all.